All right, it's time to use the real stuff, actual clay. Now this stuff is a little bit stiff. So when you go to get it into your, your ball for your pinch pot, um, it's, it's not gonna work just squishing it in your hands. Uh, we're gonna need to do something a little bit different to get it to where we need it. Okay, so I've got my kind of my chunk and I'm just gonna start kind of tapping it with this part of my hand here. Okay, don't slam it on the table. Just keep kind of patting it until it becomes closer to a sphere. Okay, this means you're, this way you're not touching it as much. Um, if you're squishing it in your hands, then you're getting it really dry. And again, uh, the more you touch this, the drier it will become. Okay, so I've got a little bit bigger piece for my pinch pot. So again, it works the same way. Really get these two fingers in there. Drag the clay. Press it inside, stretching the clay. Pushing kind of out, rounding my pinch pot out a little bit more. So I'm pushing in like so, trying to get my walls about the same thickness. It's pretty thick right now, so I can keep going. And then with these little things, I can just kind of drag my thumb across any little creases, smooth that up a little bit. Adding water to clay does not make it smooth. You need a dry tool. Our fingers are good dry tools to start out with to sort of smooth that out until I have my pinch pot. And again, you can have your pinch pot you may want this to be more open if this is going to be your creature and you want to have the mouth open. I'm kind of pinching it sort of out this way, widening it. Okay. If you want it to be more open like that. So I kind of got my nice little, my nice little pinch pot so I could have my creature like this and I can have appendages um, coming up off of the creature's kind of body mouth opening. Now, if I want to have an enclosed body, okay, I'm going to actually take two pinch pots and I'm going to connect them together. But I've got to do a few things. Now there's a couple of ways you can make it so this is even. You can kind of tap like I was doing before. That's a good way to do it. I'm actually going to take my knife tool and I'm going to remove a little bit of material off of both of these just kind of eyeballing it and then I'll tap them a little bit and looks like it might line up pretty well I'll bring that up a little bit more Okay, that looks like that's going to line up pretty well for my body. Now, attaching the clay. All right, so we have a couple of things that we need. Over here. We need our water bucket, only halfway full. Only fill it about halfway full. Don't fill it more than that got my green brush. Um, if they seem a little funky and not clean, you can scrub your brush out in the water to clean it out, or you can go to the sink and clean it out beforehand. They just, they just have underglaze on them, so it's not going to cause problems. 
uh, but there might there could be a slight possibility that uh, your pot could be discolored in one area but it's it's pretty much not going to happen all right and then I need my scoring tool has all these great little teeth because when you score basically you're creating these giant ridges these giant little mountainous ridges that creates these teeth that makes it so that the clay pieces stick together so I'm just going to take my scoring tool and I'm going to rough it up one way and then kind of back the other way a little bit really really rough up that whole bit there and I'm going to do take that extra off there and then I'll do the other one roughing it up and these tools are great because they'll give you some really good scoring marks kind of back and forth a little bit so these pieces will really stick together and of course you get a little clay on there so you can just kind of scrape it off and stick it in some scraps and if you have any scraps of clay like I've got scraps of clay these should be um, in a bag so if you've got like scraps that you're still wanting to use put them inside the bag get it to where the bag's touching them and then we can set them aside uh, that way they won't dry out because they will continue to dry out now I'm going to attach these so what I will do this process is called scoring and slipping um, normally slip would be this very squishy super squishy a clay like substance about the consistency of toothpaste uh, we don't really need it um, especially if the clay that we're working with is fairly um, it's got a lot of water already in it so this is fairly moist fairly pliable good plastic clay bodies here um, so I'm just going to use some water so I can just take some water and I'm going to sort of dab it on there I'm going to do it on both sides Okay, notice I'm not painting it on there because if I do that, I'm going to knock down my little my little um, scored mountainous areas that I want. So I'm just kind of tapping it on there. It's okay if a little bit gets inside; it's not going to hurt anything. Okay, like so. All right. Always best to keep brushes not in the buckets because then sometimes they will tip over the buckets. So just stick it on the table. It's cool. We'll wash those a little bit later. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these two together. Make sure this is going to be the best way here. And I'm going to sort of press gently. And then I'm going to connect the two. I'm just going to drag my finger across. Now I have to be a little careful. Now notice what's happening. This is wet. And so I'm dragging my finger. I'm actually making marks with the grooves um, in my fingers. My fingerprints are doing that. So, you know, if I let that dry, that will be dry. And I fire that, I will see my fingerprints in the clay. So water does not smooth out clay. I'm only just dragging this across to get the seam away. I'm just kind of getting rid of the seam. I can smooth this out a little bit later on. Okay. And if you really want to do it, they have other tools over here called a rib to where it's a lot thinner material, but I could actually take this side here that doesn't have any ridges on it and I can kind of do it at a kind of a, not scraping like this, but just sort of going like this. And I can actually make that a little smoother. And there are several rib tools over there I prefer the metal ones. There are also wooden ones as well. Okay, but you can see how that's a lot more smooth than it was before. And again, you got clay on this, you can just scrape it off with your finger, plop it over with the extra stuff. And I have my, my body form. Now, the thing with this is we can't just let it, like, we have to do something to it. We've got to cut a hole in it somewhere because uh, we have to let it totally dry and to do that it's got to have an opening in some spot so it depends on what you want if your body you're going to have like an upright figure maybe with a head or this is the head or arms coming out of it whatever other kind of creature you're going to create or if you kind of want it kind of be a little short squat creature like that um, it just sort of depends I think I'm going to choose to do a little short squat creature here so I'm going to go ahead and cut a hole in this and I'm going to say like okay I'm going to figure out I'm going to have legs and things like that 
So I want to make sure that I don't cut like a giant hole, but I want to cut like a somewhat decent size hole kind of in the middle here. So I'll go ahead and get my knife tool and I'll just make kind of like a little oval. So you may have to go back over it again. Stab it, and there we go. Now, another thing you need to do, I'm like, clay's fairly thick. Okay, you could actually have a little bit thinner than this, but it's okay to start out a little thicker. It's cool, it'll just take longer for them to dry, so I'm gonna save my clay. I'll put it in my bag here. I'm gonna squish it with my other clay, not too many times touching it, put it in, and stick it with my other one. I'll wrap that up, squish it so it's nice and tight to it. And I'll set it aside. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger in here. There's like the seam. See the seam in there. And I'm going to sort of get rid of that because I want to connect the clay up. Now it's important that a hand is on the other side so it doesn't push the clay out. And I'm just going to sort of drag my finger, sort of erasing that seam. It's okay if I see it, but it's just another way of making sure that the two pieces are totally together. Because really, in the end, you don't want people to see that there was a seam. Okay? And so I've got my, my nice little body. 